Hey guys, Shooter Smalls here. Thanks for tuning back on the channel. And today was the worldwide reveal of Call of Duty World War II. So guys, if you haven't seen the trailer already, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you in full right now. And afterwards, we'll talk about my first impressions, thoughts, and reactions. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war. In this hour of great sacrifice, we shall prevail. Get your head down and keep moving! We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. Duty first. There is! Won't be enough for you! We executed the mission. Get me the fuck out of here. How many? We had orders! Get the cover! Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. So guys, what do you think of the new Call of Duty World War II reveal trailer? I think it looks absolutely epic. Now I am one of those Call of Duty players who have been around for a very long time, since the beginning. And I have actually played some of the prior Call of Duties that were set in World War II. So for me, it's kind of nostalgia. It's kind of going back to my roots. I'm really looking forward to this kind of thing. And then I believe for some people who are new to the Call of Duty, maybe they're younger folks who are, weren't quite old enough to play some of the older Call of Duties, maybe this is a brand new, fresh idea for them. So I think it's really going to capture those two fan bases of Call of Duty and kind of bring us all back together and make us all happy again, I suppose. So guys, overall, I really, really enjoyed the reveal trailer. I think it looks absolutely epic. I think it looks like we're going to have a really deep connection with some of the characters and the storyline and ultimately the campaign for this game. So guys, there's not a whole lot we can actually get from this trailer. It's just kind of a build the hype train trailers however after the reveal trailer they actually had a live stream and they actually asked questions to a couple of the developers and they actually talked with three of the actors in the new call of duty world war ii which was kind of interesting to just to see what they were saying and what they're talking about and how this and how they really worked hard to make this as authentic as possible now a couple of things that really stood out to me and i kind of want to share with you guys one there's a new game mode it's called war war game mode now from the sounds of it it sounds like it's going to be much larger with more people on each side and it's going to be axis versus the allies so it's going to be it, it honestly it sounds like operations in battlefield one i don't know if you guys have played operations but basically it was kind of a developing war over multiple i'm sorry a developing game over multiple maps so where one group would attack with the other group would defend certain points on the map and it would kind of just progress through that map and then maybe on to the next map so call of duty introducing a new game mode like this i think is a really really good positive big step in the right direction i think call of duty has been kind of stale the last handful of years so I think they needed to do something big like a new game mode so I'm really really excited and interested to see how this game mode actually works. Now another thing they actually were talking about was divisions. Now I'm not overly sure what this is. I've kind of heard a couple of different things what it could be. 
I've heard that it could be, you know, like a create a class thing, or it could be uh, just basically how you can progress through the game, your progression. So maybe you can pick a division and kind of progress through that one. Maybe pick a different one and kind of progress through that one. So I think it's more of a progression thing. Nothing overly exciting like with the gameplay and whatnot, but it is, an, it is another element that they did add that is new. So that should be exciting to see that. Now another thing they talked about was headquarters and they actually gave a little screenshot of the headquarters or what they're calling the headquarters and basically it just looks like it's more of a community thing where you can go hang out with some people that were you know playing Call of Duty maybe hook up with them play with them I think it's just it's much more of a, a social uh, interaction piece of the game so that would be kind of neat to see now another really really big thing was the reveal of Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. I'll go ahead and put the image up on screen here. It's pretty gory and it's pretty graphic, but it looks absolutely amazing. Now, in recent years, I haven't been playing these zombies as much as I did in the past. When the first Zombies game came out, I think, and oh God, years ago, Call of Duty uh, World at War or something like that, but I played Zombies all the time because it was awesome. So it looks like we're going back to Nazi Zombies and it looks gory and freaky as hell. So that's pretty exciting for you zombie lovers out there. So guys, that's what I wanted to cover today. I wanted to show you guys the trailer, cover those four new things that they talked about in the live stream after the trailer. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments of the trailer and, and of these four things that I just talked about. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.